do in this example here using Mozenda is scrape the Broward County, Florida assessor's website. And this one's a little tricky. It can still be done, but it's a little tricky because when you start at this home page here, there's no option that allows you to, you to just view all of the records you know within the county they have these filters which basically are these uh, six different buttons that you must select um, a way to, to, to narrow your criteria so what I'll be using is the owner name and since you can't just search against everybody I've tried but just by entering in a space or leaving that value no what I'll do is search by files and then select the unique records from uh, the results that I get so what I'll do here is set up an agent and um, start from this main page here so start a new agent and what I want to do is I want the agent to click on this owner name button so click on that <clears throat> then um, one cool thing about the interface here is that it, it pretty much walks you through it I uh, sometimes I still like to review what what occurs on these little help menus that pop up so I, I haven't uh, disabled any of them but uh, you'll just see them randomly pop up per action I guess and uh, basically what I want to do here is I want to select a list of text to be input into that owner name text box so it gives you the option to either just have one piece of text to input or you can create a list of inputs so that's what I want to do import a file use a collection which is like you know from another scraper or you can manually enter the inputs so I want to manually enter mine and you have to enter each on uh, a separate row so I just want the vials and then from there um, what I want is for the agent to click the search button so it opens up another page within my agent and so these are going to be the search results for at least that first search which is on A so all of these records here all of the owner names have the letter A in the name. What I then want the agent to do is I want it to go deeper and give me the information based per folio number. So I want to click on this and since I want the agent to basically go throughout all these records I would select a... Uh, what's that called again? Alright, create a list of items. That's what I want to do. So I already clicked the first one. Then I want to click this one. And we're just going to call it folio number. And... Actually, want to go to the actual page dedicated per each folio number and scrape all of the, the relevant information that it shows here. What I'll have to do here under page 3 is I don't necessarily 
I guess it couldn't just stay that way. I'll just leave it to where it captures the folio number from that page. It's displayed on the following page as well, up here in the upper right hand corner. It's listed as the ID. So then what I want to do here is let's say I want to take the site address property owner mailing address and I mean there's a lot of good stuff on here but let's just say I don't know what EFF stands for but let's just say we want to take the uh, this year built values too You know what, I think I'd rather capture the ID from this main page too. And then we'll go here and delete this capture. Right click on it, delete. So then um, the only thing we need to do now is enter a page list so therefore once it gets to the end of this of clicking all of these folio numbers and scraping that property information I want it to click on this next link here and to do so you would go here to add list pager And ask you if it needs to scroll down. I think that happens with web pages that are that use frames, or maybe some web pages that don't use them, but don't need that here. So just click our list here, and now we got that added. So that's pretty much it as far as the scrape side goes. So we can just test it and see see down here what we got as you see it's running through all the pages it shows you what it's doing can even drag this, view it as a separate window and see. So here we go. So it's working correctly. And I'll go ahead and stop this test here. And then we'll move on to how each unique <laughs>